Hello, bookish friends. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew, and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. And for today's video, I am in a very different area of my bedroom. I am currently sitting on my beanbag, which is very comfy. <laughs> Anyways, that's not what we're here for today. I have some exciting reading updates, and I have some exciting book mail to show off for you guys today. Very excited for this. Um, I have my keys here because I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but it is time for a monthly owl crate and I got some book mail from Penguin Teen and I went to the library and checked out a new release that I'm excited for and I'm in the middle of two books. So let's get started with the video. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about... Ooh, the first thing I want to talk about is my current, or the book that I just finished, and that was Off With Their Heads by Zoe Hanna. I don't know how to say the author's last name, so I'm just going to call her Zoe Hanna. <laughs> this is a YA Alice in Wonderland retelling that is with Korean mythology, and I really enjoyed the story. It was a little bit repetitive for my taste, so I would give it 3.5 out of 5 stars for my personal rating. But for Goodreads, I would give it a four stars because Goodreads doesn't have half star reads yet or a half star rating. Um, read this in like three days. It could have been two days, but I had work in the middle of this week. So um, I finished it this morning and it was so good. The ending had a huge plot twist that I didn't see coming. So I'm excited to read more from this author. And I don't know if there's going to be a sequel coming for Off With Their Heads or not. But it will be exciting to see if there will be a sequel or not. So why standalone that's been on my TBR for quite a while now. And I'm excited to say that I finally got around to reading them. And I'm happy to already have it returned to my library as well. So speaking of books I'm currently reading. I'm in the middle of two books. And both of them have sprayed edges and stenciled edges. So the first book is one I started this morning at work as well. And that was The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. This is one I'm super excited for count how many times I say the word excited this is one of my most anticipated reads for the whole year and also for the month that it came out in I think this came out in January or it came out in March correct me if I'm wrong but I know it came out this year and I just haven't got around to reading it yet so I decided what the heck let's get our fall reading out of the way and pick up one of the spooky reads so I know this was supposed to be a buddy read I was supposed to do for my friend Taylor but my friend Taylor has been busy with her work and she said just to go ahead and start it. So I read the first six chapters and it's interesting so far. It's definitely one of her slowest entries into a book and it's slowest storylines. Um, sorry if you can hear the wind, we are sitting next to my window. <laughs> Anyways, I'm intrigued by this. I think this is vampires and it has lesbian main character in it too. I could be mistaken with that quote, so don't hold it to me. But yeah, just curious and I'm really ready for fall. I'm tired of the summer heat. So let's start off my August video with um, one of my fall reads. So yay, hoping, hoping I love this one. If I don't, I'm gonna be so sad because lately, I don't know about you guys, but my reads for August have not been giving me a five star feeling. I have only had two this month and you'll see that in my August wrap up. But yeah, currently reading this and not loving it, but I hear you have to give it a couple pages, like 50 pages or even 100 pages to really get a feel for the book. And I know Mel from Mel Reads read this recently and she said she gave it two stars. So nervous for that, but hopefully I will love this one. Because again, Lee Bardugo, auto by author. Then <laughs> the next one... I guess I can put it up here. <laughs> the next book that I'm currently reading, I'm actually meeting this author tomorrow at my Adeline Grace book event. Um, Adeline Grace is the author of the Bella Donner trilogy, which I'm so happy to say that Wisteria is out today. So happy birthday to that. I'll be getting my copy tomorrow while I'm at the book event with my friend Liz, Karen, and my friend Jordan. Three lovely ladies that I'll leave down below. Anyways, I started this one last night just because I'm bored at home and I was like, let's see how long this book will take me to read. It's only 320 pages, 
so I don't think it should take me that long to read it. And that is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. This is a YA fantasy standalone novel by Axie O. And this is my first book by this author as well. And it's a pretty stunning fairy loot edition. So it's signed and it has, ignore the sticky note, it's for a readathon I'm doing. Um, but it has stunning artwork. It has stunning artwork on the hardcover case. And then also here, so stunning. And the spine is gorgeous. I love the spine. The spine is like my favorite part of the book. And then there is artwork on the back of the hardcover case as well. <laughs> A very romantic scene it looks like. <laughs> And then this is also signed by Axio. So although it's already signed, I'm going to see if I can get this personalized to me. So yeah, very excited to be getting around to this. This has been sitting on my shelf for a couple years now. It came out in 2022. Um, and one of my friends, I forgot her name. I'll have to look on Instagram. But one of my friends wasn't able to afford the fairy loot book only option at the time for this one. So she asked me if I wanted it. And I was like, oh yeah, I can take it from you or I can get it from you. So that's what happened, and I'll let you guys know how this one goes. So hopefully I'll fin be finished with this one tomorrow, if not, definitely on Thursday. But I will be super cold to finish this tomorrow before the book event. I am off tomorrow, so maybe I will. And then on to my library haul, I have another book with stunning stencil edges. This one, if you can't tell, is um, The Wren in the Holly Library by K.A. Lindy, I think is the author's last name. I'm so sorry for butchering it. This is a adult fantasy standalone first book of a series. I know this is from Red Tower Books, so I'm not too sure um, how long this series will be or if this is a standalone. The reason why I got this for my library is A, super hype, B, super pretty, and C, my friend Clint over at Reads Readers here on Booktube. He's having a book club called Fictional Falls Book Club coming this fall, and they're starting in the, in the month of September. And in the month of September, their book club pick for the month is The Wren in the Holly Library, so I'm very excited to join them for this. And my copy is due September 10th, so I might read this a bit early. That way I can return this to my library. But still, super shocked that I have this pretty book from my library because of how popular it is so definitely going to be super careful with this one um just because i don't want it to get damaged but i'm thinking i'm reading this one either this weekend or maybe even next weekend Alrighty, let's jump into my book mail um this is from penguin teen i don't know if you can see the front of that but that says the other world the other wear pros by Emily J. Taylor, which I'm so excited because this is a uh, physical art that doesn't come out till um, 2025. Yeah, you heard me. 2025. Oh no! Can I open this? Hold on a sec. <laughs> okay, I got it open. <laughs> that was so hard to open. It had like the super like heavy duty tape. Anyways, <clears throat> this is the Otherwear Post by Emily J. Taylor. It says, open me for a glittery mystery, dangerous magic, and a forbidden romance on sale February 25th, 2025. I believe this is like one of my first um, physical arcs for 2025. So that's very exciting. Ooh. <gasps> I didn't know that was coming. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was so cool to see. Um, so here's the beautiful ARC copy of The Otherware Post by Emily J. Taylor. Um, this is the same author who wrote Hotel Magnifique, which I read the year it came out and absolutely loved it. Um, it says, seven years ago, Maven Abanese lost everything. Today, she received an enchanted letter with four impossible words. Your father was innocent. To uncover the truth, she must pose as an apprentice for the other wear posts and master the dangerous magic of script anonymity. 
I'm so sorry for butchering words. But the truth has a price, and that price might just be her life. Dun dun dun. Yes, please. And it's so big and chunky, and I love it. Um, oh, there's some stuff, more stuff in here. Oh my goodness. It says, any world of magic, danger lurks, lurks in every word. So this is a golden feather pen. Um, very excited. I'll open this in a few minutes, unless I can just open it this way. Yes, I can. <laughs> so yeah, this is a feather pen. This is super cool. I'll have to use this for my bullet journal now. That's so exciting. And then there's a letter here with a cool embossed stamp. So I don't want to ruin the stamp. Oh, it has a letter. It says, Dear Reader, the Otherware Post was born in two parts. The first spark of the idea came on a faded trip to the mailbox during quarantine in early 2020. I was hoping for my obscene ballot, but as I pull out letters, I remember feeling like they were almost lost coming from another world that was now cut off from me. That's when I wonder, what if a postal service could magically deliver letters between separate worlds? And what if it was the only way to connect to our loved ones? The second spark came during a trip in a trip to Edinburgh, where I wandered down rain slick cobblestone streets and through graveyards bur bursting with inspiration for the feel of the dark fantasy city that my conjurers would travel. The other world, other where it posts is a mystery spanning worlds filled with dangerous romance, deadly magic, and Edwardian dark academic vibes. I couldn't be more thrilled to share it with you now. Happy reading, courageous one, best Emily J. Taylor. And I think there was something else in here as well. Oh yeah, and then it's just another little like summary for the book. And it has, um, if you love this book, if you're a fan of this book, read other books. And they have uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart, A Study in Drowning, Divine Rivals, and Hotel Magnifique. And again, this book comes out February 25th. That was so cool. Honestly, I wasn't expecting the letter from the author or the pen. So that was really fun to open. See, this is why I always wait for my YouTube videos to open them for you guys. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, it's finally time for our monthly Owl Crate box. If you guys don't know what Owl Crate is, Owl Crate is my monthly subscription box that I get every single month around the 15th or 16th of the month where I get one new hardcover, sometimes two, depending on what the month is. And it comes with a uh, letter from the author and it's always signed. And sometimes it has sprayed edges, sometimes it doesn't. And it's a Senator Arano theme with five to six goodies in the box. Very excited for this one. I usually have my friend Liz here, but my friend Liz has been working a lot. So sadly, she's not gonna be here for this one. But I'm so excited nonetheless. I haven't been spoiled for this month's box yet. So we shall see what this is in store. I do think from what um, the theme is, I think the book is going to be a Wednesday book title. So I'm so sorry for that. But let's open this. This always excites me. Da -da. There we go. So on the inside, as always, it says... We read to know we are not alone, C.S. Lewis. And this says, journey beyond the book to scan. So there's a QR code if you want to scan it. And now I'm going to set this on my bean bag and we're going to look at the box together. So this theme for the month of August is falling for the shadows. Ooh. Falling for Shadows. And this is our spoiler card that I will refer to it if I don't know the fandoms. But I should be pretty good with like knowing what fandoms are what. So let's jump into it. Can you guys still see that? <laughs> so here's some warmies. Warmies. I'll pick that up later because I'm already hating myself for it. <laughs> okay, first item I see which I'm super excited to know what color this is, is the next collectible um, ceramic bowl that we get from Malacrate. They've been doing a Lord of the Rings set for this time around. And so this says, together with artist Janie LaCour, we're bringing a bit of the magic of Middle Earth 
to your table. Each bowl is a limited edition collection, celebrates a different icon location from Tolkien's Lord of the Rings universe. This bowl pays homage to the realm of Mordor. Ooh, inspired by Sauron's shadow layer. This design featured the towering fortress of the Bad Badr. I'm so sorry, fans. And they and the fiery raid rage of Mount uh, Mount Dorm or Mount Doom. Not Dorm. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Stop. This is stunning. I predicted that the next bowl was going to be red. Did I not? Did I not predict that the next bowl was going to be red? Oh my gosh. This is stunning. On the inside, it says Mordor. Dun dun dun. I love these mug or mugs. <laughs> I love these bowls. Um, I don't use them for anything. I just love stacking them up on my desk. So another one to add to the collection. How cool. Okay, next item we have is our monthly pen. This is number 8 out of 12, obviously, because it's August. <laughs> Can you guys see it? Ooh, what is it? Ooh, it's very gold. It is Perfect Pairing Collection. I don't know this fandom. Is this from Fourth Wing? Ooh, but it's very pretty. It's gold on the front and then black and gold on the back side. Is this from Fourth Wing? Oh, based on Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. I know about this book, but I haven't read it yet, so interesting. You guys have to let me know if this is accurate or not, but very cool. I'll add this onto my new pen banner that is right above you guys. Next one we have is, oh, is this another bag? This is amazing. <laughs> oh, it's a small bag. Interesting. This is super pretty. I love the purple. Is this a castle or a ship? Oh, no, it's a bunch of ships on it. Ooh, this is very pretty. It's like a hydro bag, maybe. Let's look on the card real quick. So, ceramic bowl is from Lord of the Rings. The pen is from the Om uh, Good Omens. And then this... Use your gorgeous travel mug tote bag for your drinks while you embark on your travels. Inspired by the Hurricane Wars, this bag is the most convenient way to carry your drinks and stay hydrated. This was beautifully designed by Anne Ninagoon. I am so sorry for butchering names, but I'll leave everybody down below. This is so cool. I actually was just talking about wanting one of these, so hopefully this will fit my hydro. Next I see is, ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a compact mirror. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't know if I'll use this item, but it's very pretty. So there's the front of it. Ooh. <laughs> there's the front. There's a quote that says, only blood can rewrite blood. And on the back it says, everything comes with a price. Ooh. And it has like this cool keychain on it. Who is this inspired by? Where did my card go? Right here. Uh, da, da, da. Be sure to look your best even on your travels by using an our evocation inspired keychain. The mirror features a wonderful design, both front and back, done by Yutas May. Again, sorry for butchering words tonight. I don't know why I am. Next item I see is we have this nice little thing i don't know what to say but this says be wary be clever be good dun 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 and then on the inside what is it oh a key <laughs> this is a stunning key i actually don't know if it's a key um speaking of drinks our key bottle opener ah Makes sense. Our key bottle opener is a perfect item to open all your 
bottled beverages. This item designed by Azua Arts and it's inspired by One Dark Window. I really love that duology. So that's really exciting. Very cool. Ooh, don't break. Very, very cool. So now I see is the book of the month. Let's see me dump everything out real quick. Yeah, all I see left is book of the, is our book of the month and our monthly pamphlet. I'm really gonna hate all these fuzzies. <laughs> so our book of the month, I don't know if you can tell because of my ring light, is Castle of the Curse by Romina Garber. Again, I am so sorry for portraying words tonight. This is uh no is this English? <laughs> I don't know what this quote say. Oh my gosh. Can you guys read that for me? <laughs> no hay wins Oscar? I don't know. <laughs> These edges though are so stunning. Let's take the wrapper off. Ooh, it's very purpley on the cover. Oh, and it's kind of reflective too. That's so cool. So the stunning stenciled edges that goes all the way around. Ooh, different edges on the bottom too. And then moons on the top. Again, I don't know what this quote is, so I'm sorry for not reading it, but there's artwork on the end pages. On the front side, there's, ooh, another quote in Spanish. Did, is this a Spanish edition? I'm so confused. You guys have to help me out. <laughs> and then... And then there's the letter from the author, and it's signed by the author as well, which is super cool, because this is my first book by the author. I have heard of this author before, um, but I just haven't gotten around to reading her yet, so maybe I definitely will for this one. Oh, and then there's artwork on the backside as well. Very cool. And then artwork on the reverse dust jacket. Eh, a little boring, but there's a couple quotes on here. It says, only when you sacrifice everything will you have nothing to lose. And this one says, we are impossible and that proves anything is possible. Dun dun dun. Sounds super good. It sounds something I would love, and I'm pretty stoked for this. I don't know too much about it, and I kind of want to keep it that way, um, but very happy to have a special edition of Castle of the Curse. So yeah, that's everything that we got in the monthly Owl Crate box. And then here's our monthly pamphlet. Sorry, I have trash everywhere now. <laughs> here's our monthly pamphlet for the box. We have an interview with the author, and then this is the Owl Crate cover right here, and then this is what the original cover looks like. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad of having both copies, because both covers are stunning. And then we have the um, news from the nest, so you can join the nest if you like. And then there's interviews with the vendors, and monthly photo challenges will be happening throughout the month of August, obviously. And then it's time for another Owl Babble with the author happening sometimes in September. Check out Owl Crate on social media for final dates and times announcement. And then there's a playlist from Spotify that you can scan if you have Spotify. I don't, but in case you guys like having music with your reading. There's other new releases that Owl Crate is excited for this month, and that is The Dark We Know, The Girl With No Reflection, The Dagger and the Flame, Something Kindred, and Practical Rules for Curse Witches. None of these I heard of, so that's pretty cool to put on my radar. And the theme for September would be I'll Remember You. Every September box will include an exclusive candle. Hey, I just want wanting a candle. Um, will include an exclusive candle handmade by Flick the Wick. So, very excited. So yeah, that is everything I have to show you guys for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching this little sit down, chill video. Let me know if you love the shelves this way and I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you all have a great day or night or not. The choice is yours and happy reading. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me soon. 
And once again, I'll talk to you down below. Bye.